Alright, so, to sum it all, we are saying that military intervention shouldn't be going in there with, you know, guns blazing. Um, we don't, that's, that's not how it should be. You know, people should stop seeing us as, you know, the, the police of the world. You know, instead of, you know, making them, you know, help, helping them in a way where we're not the only country helping them. But <coughs> being the country not doing the work for them, that's what I mean. you know, we should we should let them solve their issues on their own. And we can't, you know, we can't keep cleaning up after them or helping them solve their problems. No, um, and for the solution that. Julian and Nick are offering to solve the refugee crisis, would in turn create more Syrian refugees due to the fact that we have been escaping the conflict by fighting on their land. Uh, we have a history of uh, collateral damage, once again, like, I, like uh, my friend Ash over here explained earlier. <laughs> we go in the military, that we go in the military, don't be surprised to find out that the refugees problem has doubled in the amount of civilian lives in the last quarter. Lost quarter. Caught the world. Said that wrong. Once again. <laughs> we got in the military, don't be surprised to find out that the refugees problems have doubled and the amount of civilian lives lost quadrupled. There. And also, I want to say, Something that brought uh, from Spike News. This was the former U.S. Defense Secretary, Leon Panic. Uh, he puts it in as this: uh, bombing began in August. Western intervention is the ultimate authority of the neighbor of the nightmare in the northern Iraq and Syria. Do something. You already did something. You did this you made horror, as he explains that the U.S. intervention has also scared the civilians there. And lastly, I want to say that uh, uh, Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, he explains to us, truly there is no military solution to ISIL. The General adds, it may be tough pill to swallow, but there is no military solution.